Welcome everybody to this week in Doom. Doom. That's right, we're trying something new. Yeah. Talking about new things. New things. New things, old things, in between things. Because we, as much as we love talking about old stuff, right. we've been doing this for a while. Mm-hmm. And we feel like maybe there's part of our audience out there who might also want to hear new stuff. What's or a, newish stuff. What's the new shit you've been new into? New to me. <laughs> there you go. So it may not be something that just came out this week, but it right. just came out for us. Right? It's just, <laughs> oh, look at that. So what do we got? We got, we, we can talk about anything you guys yeah, want. Whatever. But this week, we've watched some new shows, watched yeah. some new movies. Mm-hmm. So do you want to start off? You watched Furiosa. Yeah, I did watch Furiosa. I really liked it. And that actually led me to watch all of the... <laughs> to re-watch the whole Mad series? Mad Max Pantheon. I and watched it's been a while. I have... I don't think I saw... I haven't seen Furiosa yet, but I oh. didn't see the... Um, the the one this is the prequel to you until no that. I did oh, but I mean oh, oh. I haven't I was like, seen you it even again seen since it came out oh I watch it every once in a while I just it's like so rewatchable I really liked it so but I just this. didn't I just didn't so watch it this. again I like that um, peripheral vision girl that Anya Taylor, Anya Taylor I like her I got told I look like her no you don't I need to push my eyes just I don't a know who further, said that but they were lying to you. Out. They were lying to you because no, you don't. Inch between my eyes. <laughs> no, and to lose about a hundred well, pounds. That, that's she's beside so the point. That's just beside the point. Yeah, she is. She's very skinny. She's I mean, very she doesn't svelte. look like she's sick, but she's no, svelte, she doesn't. For sure. And I mean, like she looked tough enough in this movie, like because you kind of have to be, yeah, kind of whatever. She has two arms wasteland. though, and you oh. do find out how she loses that arm. Oh, okay. And it's kind of like when it comes up, you're like, oh. Mm, that's why she had to lose the arm. So yeah, thumbs up from Tessa for Furiosa. Yeah, Furiosa. I really liked it. I'm sure it would get two thumbs up if I had seen it yet. If you had seen it, I'm sure you would like it. The other dude, the Helmsworth Hemsworth, guy, Hem- Hemsworth, mm-hmm. not Helmsworth, whatever. He was good. I liked him a lot. Was he goofy in the trailers? He seems kind of goofy. Kind of, but like in a sinister like way. Comic book Cause everybody kind of way. Or? Well, he's dementous. Okay. He's demented. He's, demented. he's like, okay. he's whatever. But, like, you see her mom and, like, the place where she came from and all that other shit. And, yes, there are men there, too. Yes, there are men there, too. Are they slaves? No, they're not slaves. They're not (laughs) slaves. But they are horse girls. Oh, okay. They are horse girls. I was like, oh, shit. And then you see what happens there. You get to see what happens to her mom. You get to see how she loses her arm. And so on and so forth. But it was really entertaining. All the fucking eh, driving shit. All that shit was cool. Yeah. All that shit was cool. That dude, he knows how to shoot a fucking moving chase action situation. Because you were into it. I was super. I like a, I like an action film sometimes. And speaking of action like films, epic. but totally different. Not an epic. Action comedies. I watched Axel F. That's right. You did. Which I have not seen. Which you should. And now I've seen some people complaining Mm. about Axel F. And I want to remind everybody. I can't imagine. What Beverly Hills Cop was. (laughs) Did you? I feel like that's like the default is that people, especially something that comes. Yeah. That especially something that comes back that's old and beloved. Yeah. If you do something new, it's like, oh, like I'm automatically going to hate it. When I've watched the old Beverly Hills Cop Mm -hmm. trilogy fairly recently. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I. I didn't build it up in my mind to be. I don't know what it is people are comparing it well, to that's that what I'm this saying. action like, I don't comedy know what you didn't expected work for them. It to be. We got the original cast, right? We got the addition of fucking Joseph Gordon-Levitt, Kevin Bacon, Joseph Gordon, handsome, yeah, Kevin Bacon legs, exactly. Does he run on them? Run, you know run, run. He's kind of a fancy can? lad. I'm trying to remember if he Ooh, does any running. He does it's a some fancy shooting. Thing. I is think. he? Is it Kevin Canadian Bacon legs? <laughs> Does that mean they're floppy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. It's Kevin Ham. Kevin Ham legs. But yeah, I I enjoyed it. It was it was fan service enough to where you got all the original songs. Mm-hmm. We started out by and we got Judge Reinhold. We got what's his name? The old the older guy who was only thirty six in the original one. Taggart. I know. Yeah, Taggart. That's what I'm saying. Like they, ev- 
Eddie Murphy looks exactly the same. He's a little thicker. You know. Yeah. He's I like, mean, like what? 60? Or he's in late elder. 50s or he's something? He's an elder. Yeah, yeah. He's an elder. But no, they. it was funny. Um, there was a lot of car chases and car wrecks. There was a lot of just blatantly shooting people in the middle well, of the that's street. Good. I love that shit. It was Beverly Hills Cop and Bronson yeah. Pincho. Bronson Pincho. Serge. Serge. Is that my son? Is that Serge? <laughs> so, yeah, I really liked Axel F. I recommend one thumbs up from me. And probably two if I'd seen it. <laughs> Have you been watching any new series? Uh, no. I usually kind of, um, just because I kind of have a hard time keeping up with. In fact, I do need to go back and watch the second half of, I think it might be close to over, if not over now, the American Horror Story is the second half of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I fell off that wagon a while well, ago. Well, I, it came out like in October or of last no, year. Yeah, or some shit like <clears throat> that. So it had already been and out it's a just while now before. the second half? Yes. Wow. I don't know why they I don't know why they do that shit to us. But I enjoyed it. I even didn't hate uh Kim Kardashian. Oh really? She's in it and I don't I mean like I don't really I, I don't know really have so little about her. her. Everything I know about her is against my will. That's what I'm saying. Like I've avoid I've managed to <clears throat> avoid not even by like trying just by not turning on things that she's on. Right. I, I usually watch. don't I do like that girl on TikTok that plays I all the Kardashian like that. sisters. That's all I need to know. That's about what I the, know about the Kardashians. Exactly. And that's all I need to so know. So that's nice for her that you, she didn't bother you. No, she, she didn't really didn't her. because she kind of like the character. She She's like she plays a publicist. So it's okay. like it feels like it's in her in her wheelhouse, in her wheelhouse. And she knows how these people talk. Because right. They're like I'm sure she's heard her mother speak once or twice. <laughs> when like I listens. feel like she's just kind of playing her mom. Maybe a little bit. Maybe maybe not quite as evil. Like I don't know. She was kind of. She didn't bother me, but I do want to go back and see. So I'm hoping. Usually I have to let it finish before I'll go watch it. Just because right, I, I want to know it's all. Out and there. I have a hard time staying on top of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. That I don't have time to start a series. The only one that I'm watching as it comes out that's one of those is mm -hmm. the the Dragon Show, which is what I call. House dragons. Of, is it House of the Dragons or House of, House of, Dra House of Dragons? House of Dragons. That's why I call it the Dragon Show. Right. It's the Dragon Show. It's which, the only Dragon Show going right now. It right? makes it sound like it's like a dragon variety show, which is hilarious to me because it's such a serious show. And when I say the Dragon <laughs> Show, it's like yeah, dancing dragons. With top hats. See, now I'd watch that. But the reason I have to stay on top of this is only because of the memes. Because I I read all the Game of Thrones right, books, right, right. but I didn't read this right, what the this history was? of the. Song of Ice and Fire or right. whatever the shit is. And so, um, yeah, or the Dance of Dragons. There you this go, is Dance, Dance of Dragons. Of Dragons. And I was like, no, wait, no, no, that no, was yeah, the that other thing. Song. Yeah, no, 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 the, the Dance of Dragons. I don't know the whole thing <laughs> about it. So you can just go wiki the fucking right. who dies Which I and stay up on like what the news is just mm -hmm. so that I know just so that the memes are funny because I do love a meme. Yeah. So I stay up on it. When, and then, of course, what you tell me. Right. But other than that, I, I, I first of all, I can't believe that wig had babies. <laughs> The wigs are, it depends. Some of them are good and some of them are questionable. I mean, I understand the need to devote a lot of your budget to these dragons because there's more of them. Of course. Yes, like you see them more yeah. often than yeah, you yeah. did in the other show. But like, come on, come on. I can't because of the wigs. I can't because of Matt Smith. <laughs> yeah, Tessa has an aversion to Matt Smith and his I lack can't of because of Uncle Drosselmeyer. Now tell me who that was again. He's the uncle from the Nutcracker that That's shows right. up with the fucking Nutcracker. He's got an eye patch and he looks just like him if he was a ballet dancer. Oh the wig God. is almost like it. It's all right on. It's all right there. But yeah, I'm enjoying <laughs> it. Um, it's but it's you know it's medieval soap opera or something. You know what I mean? It's right and. I, it gives Three's Company vibes just because of the naming, the fucking naming confusion. Like the oh fact my that God. I complained and that the whole internet complained about the close naming. And right. then that became like a major plot <laughs> arc was the fact that these that people the are all similar. named the fucking same. That's what you get when you have hilarious. that kind of ego. That's, That's what hilarious. you get. That's what you get. Well, and then I saw somebody brought up online. So in Game of Thrones, they changed several characters' names from the books because, because they, they were sounded too, too similar. They were too similar. This one, they're like, no, fuck it. No, fuck make it. We're more, just going to do it. More similar. You know what? They were already like, fuck you with the way that they ended the last oh, series. And I think I part of me is still, 
I'm like going to be forever mad about that because I invested I so much time and so much effort and we had feasts yes, and we, we played did. games and it was all fun. And then, and then they had to and go and that, it. And then I they know. had to go and do it. There were so many things they, they could have done. I'm so, I'm glad they lost Star Wars. I know. Fuck them. I know. Fuck them. My youngest I'm mad at came you out when I was watching the dragons and asked me, was it good? And I said, it is. I said, but you know, Game of Thrones was better. But right, and, until. He goes, and he said, he goes, "Oh, I heard the ending was bad," and he already knew the whole story, so he's never seen it. But right. my sixteen-year-old already knows that. Game so of yeah, Thrones ends there's badly. also that. Like I can't with some of the people, except for Emma Darcy all day long, oh, twice on Sundays. St- yes, I am Stannis obsessed, at Emma Darcy. and not even as Dragon Lady. I like, like not their, even as I the like dragon them better character. out of out of out drag. Of drag. I'm out of all drag. about them. Undrag. Un- yes. Undragon. Undragon. Out of dragon. But yeah, em- give me Emma, Emma on my yes. timeline all day. I want to see. Interviews. I want to hear the interviews. I want to see what they're wearing. Mm-hmm. I want to see what they're doing right now. Uh-huh. What are you doing right now, Emma? Emma, what are you I doing know right all now? About you. I want to know everything about you. I'm so interested. Stunning. Stunning. And the, who is, I don't know who the other actress is that people were talking about. They look related and they should do a, um, where it's like a vampire movie. Oh, um, oh, but I they saw both that. Look like, oh, what's, oh. The other, what's that girl's name? I can't remember, but she's some other, she's real popular right now. What? She's so hot right now. She's so hot right now. I don't know who it even is. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't, because I usually also, that's another thing. I don't recognize most people. I don't know who these people are. Like the new movies blindness. and new shows and whatever. <laughs> like, who's that? Who's that? You know, whatever. I don't know. I kind of like that just because depending on what I'm watching. Like if I don't, if I see a movie that's supposed to be like whatever. And then you see that one famous person in there and you're like, oh, now it's like kind of took me out of it. Because I right. know that you're a bad guy or usually the good guy or usually the. It's a giveaway. Kind of. Kind of. And sometimes. But yeah, besides that, what I that um I finished oh. Renegade Nell on Disney Plus. And that one it's um it's a I would call it an action adventure comedy. And it's where this girl is I don't think she's not initially a highway woman, but she gets kind of possessed when she's in danger by a supernatural creature. Hunter Schaefer. Oh, that's who they're Hunter saying they Schaefer look like twins. And Emma Darcy or, or whatever. Related. Or I guess that's what she said. Like, we could play, it would be a vampire story. It would be cool. We could be siblings. That would be cool. Kind of. I want to see Emma as a vampire. I would love to see them as a vampire. That, that would, would work for me. That would work for me. That would work, work for me. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Renegade Nell was one that, it's very Disney. It gives like New Willow mm. vibes. Mm. That New Willow series kind of. I liked that. Which I'm I also really they, liked. I'm yes. sad that they canceled that. Because they set us up for a three season arc. And I, then. And I, that would have been enough. That, that would have been, been perfect. Enough. That would have been perfect. Come on. Fuck, whatever. I'm but, not um, about that. Not Renegade too. Nell has Nick Muhammad, who you guys wouldn't either. If you're not into British comedy, you would know him from Ted Lasso. Um, but if you're into British comedy, he's. He's on all the panel shows Nick and all that Muhammad. stuff. I probably know his face because I usually watch those with you. But it's very much like a girl power. <clears throat> like I would get emotional sometimes in the scenes where she's Ooh. kicking ass because she's fucking kicking ass. And you're like, <laughs> and even though she has the help of the supernatural creature, you're still like, ooh, like the way it was filmed in the soundtrack and whatever gives you vibes. Like where you're just like, hell yeah, bitch. <clears throat> Go off. And then My yeah, Lady skip. Jane on Amazon. Yeah. Is um, Lady Jane Grey, who okay, was yeah, yeah. queen for nine oh, days and got beheaded or whatever. You know me and my so royal this is family a reimagining, history. like another comedy mm-hmm. action adventure. Okay, where like, what if she didn't get beheaded after nine days? What if she got to become queen? Right, and so okay. it doesn't start there. It starts still In like the where things times. are right. So there's a king. It's not mm-hmm. Henry the Eighth, but like there's already a king on the throne, right. and she's like the cousin of the king uh-huh. that's on the throne. Um, but it's got the dude from Preacher. It's got and it gives Preacher vibes. Did you ever mm-hmm. watch Preacher Mm-mm. on? Am- that's a good one too. I think I saw like bits and pieces of it. But and I that's don't, I, I think never based actually... on a comic book. And this one gives yeah, yeah. a little bit comic <clears throat> book mixed with. Like, just because of the way the action is and because there's a narrator that's right. funny, that's, like, explaining to you, kind of, and is cursing yeah, and yeah. is, like, setting everything mm-hmm. up. But so that was really good. Or, I mean, I'm not done with it. I'm, like, three episodes well, yeah, in. But like so you're, far, you're I'm enjoying into it. into the series. Yeah. yeah. I don't ever, I just, I can't, 
I can't give my time to series. If I watch any series, it's like comfort series. Right. I like? watch comfort series. Oh, like Murder, She Wrote, which I just found out. I just found out because, you know, I had looked at on the Reddit. There's a Murder, She Wrote subreddit. And <laughs> you know I'm is. on there. You know there I lurk in there. So I found out on there that not only is there a Murder, She Wrote channel on Pluto, which I've already... That I've, I've been watching, yeah. I believe I've watched the entire 12 season run. Wow. One and a half times nice. over. And so I found out there, there was movies which were playing on the channel and then I couldn't find I them because Pluto heard of was Murder, like, she wrote movies. there was one about, there was one, the last one I watched, the one that I was actually really paying attention to because I just kind of put them on, but it had like Felicia Rashad oh, wow. and they were going back in time to like slave times because one of Jessica's relatives had lived at a plantation oh, so it okay. was like going back in time <laughs> and i feel like it was called the last free man or something like that but anyhow okay, it was good right. they were good if you like murder she wrote there's three movies i forget what that one was called that and there was a couple other ones but yeah pluto streaming I had to go you can them. watch murder she wrote channel mm -hmm. there's a matlock channel yeah there's a columbo channel which you know i love me some columbo too we still got to hit up barney's beanery i know we you could just go there we could go get chilies and crackers Chili and crackers at Barney's Beanery, I like know. where Columbo's at. I bet you they got a little Columbo they section. They got to, right? I would imagine. Like nobody knows anymore. Like we got to keep oh, the who? Columbo tradition alive. I, I love those shows. I need to um, rewatch Golden Girls again. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since it's been a while since I watched Golden Girls. Um, well, B. Arthur will come up soon because in Airheads, is that one of their ransom demands? The naked picture of B. Arthur? Patrick reminded me. He said something about B. Arthur, and mm -hmm. I was like, what are you talking about? And he's mm -hmm. like, in Airheads, isn't that one of the things? I'm like, oh, wow, I haven't watched it in right. so long, I forgot. And because you reminded me, now I want to go back and watch Mama's Family. Yes. And I want to get into, which I never really have before. I've only seen like bits and pieces, but Maud, I want to go back and watch yeah, Maud. Yeah, Maud is on the classic TV yeah, station. Yeah, now Pluto. that it's <clears throat> it's out there and available, like I could just watch I'm like Maud. I'm addicted to Pluto because it's like I know. cable. It's like free I know. cable. It has it's the guide. It's the way that I feel about Tubi because of like all the old movies, like yeah. not so much. I have never watched a Tubi original. You did. What did I watch? Slay. Yes, Slay I liked. Yeah. I did like it. was fun. The right. drag like, queen I have horror comedy. I still haven't watched it. It's on my list, but like I don't ever watch any of their originals, I don't think. I might have seen one or two. Yeah, I think that might be the only but one. But they always have a bunch of like great old shit mm -hmm. on there. I, yeah, I'm all down for the free. Yeah, the free, the free streaming, streaming you know that YouTube things? TV costs $70 a Eat month or shit. something? Eat shit. I refuse and that's to so you pay can them. have like channeled like NBC and CBS. Like, I don't want to watch me. nothing on any of those channels. Blow me. No, thank you. No. $70. Yeah, $70. I remember when they dollars. were trying to sell I it thought for... you said seven and I said no. fuck you. Seven T seven zero. No. I remember when they were trying to sell it to me for $9.99 a month. New gift like, from no. Orbit. Fuck you. $70. No, I thought you said seven and no. I was already all like, no. had my hackles up. Mm hmm. <laughs> I got mad over seven dollars. I refuse. No. I refuse. No. That's how hard I resist it. And unfortunately, something else that happened this week. What else happened? Oh, we I know. Several. Oh my god! From our childhood, I got one two punch today. One two punch today. So after earlier the this gut week, punch, we lost Shelley Duvall. Sh I'm Shelley Duvall. Hello, from the I'm afterlife. Shelley Duvall. Yeah, we lost Shelley Duvall. Oh. We will and never we ever mix love. you up with the other Shellys again. You're always forever the best Shelly. Now you have to be Shelly Duvall, Shelly Winters, Shelly Long. That's how it goes. <laughs> all right, all right. That's how it goes. So yeah, but and then right after we lost her, this morning I noticed that Dr. Ruth had still been alive. And then <laughs> no, surprise, I get the like guess what? Dr. Ruth was alive until like not now or whatever. Yeah, until yesterday she when she died 96. at the age of ninety six. But do you not remember Dr. Ruth? Oh, like, she was on TV all icons, the time. icons, icons. And speaking of fucking icons, later on today, <gasps> we lost Richard Simmons, y'all. The shorties. We lost Richard Simmons. Were they not both really short? I feel like Dr. Ruth and uh, Richard Simmons. Dr. Were both Ruth very was minuscule. There was a couple of pictures I was on Instagram, and of course, there's all these pictures of all of them that are infiltrated in there right now. But there was a picture of Dr. Ruth and Shaq. 
Wow, the size difference had to she be insane. She was like knee high. Wow. Knee high. It was insane because she was a tiny person. Well, after right after Richard Simmons died, I saw a tweet that I retweeted of where Richard Simmons was on an episode of Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yes. Look how tiny he is I next know. to everybody else. I know. Look how tiny those shorts are. I told you. Oh the ones that God. you were wearing were not short enough. And speaking of whose li- line is it anyway, mm. we got followed today. Uh-oh. By, I don't know this. I didn't tell you this yet. Hold on. <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? So I can prove it. Oh. Prove it. By Tony Slattery, who oh. was the brown-haired. Yeah? Like, yeah, yeah. He was like, you will know him when you see yes. him. So I guess he kind of went into obscurity for a while after that and he had some problems with like drugs and alcohol and yeah. stuff but now he's coming back and he's doing live shows and stuff and he started following us on Twitter Excellent. today. Excellent. But you will recognize that oh, yeah. guy from Whose yeah, Line yeah. Is It Anyway. Uh-huh. So yeah, he follows us now and so I followed nice. him back. Nice. I did love that show. I did too. And I, I did just discovered my oldest, my 19 year old out there with a friend watching it the other day and I was like, is this Whose Line Is It Anyway? What are you... What? How do you know this show? That was good. I remember watching that a lot. I remember they watching They do that live at the Fox over here sometimes. We should. And I feel like it's at least Ryan Stiles and um Colin uh, Colin Muckery. Colin Muckery. Which is like the best. If name. it's Greg Proops. 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 Come on now. Love me some Well, I love all of them. They're well, yeah, funny. like that would just be really fun to do. I fun. really want to go to the Rocky Horror Picture Show with Barry Boswick. That's gonna oh be her. yeah, I should buy the tickets for that before they sell I out. Really want to go to that. That's gonna be fun. I have to spend some pod bucks on mm. that one. That's what it's for. That's what you give it. That give give us that money for. And I don't think I've been listening to any new music this week, and I haven't no. read any new books. I read that House of Furies, which oh, we yeah. should be doing That's an ad right. for. H A U S of Furies of by Donnie Clark, and that was fun. It's like a supernatural mm-hmm. horror comedy. And light read, right? Really fun. Four ninety nine on Kindle. Go check do it, it out. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um, I don't know. Oh, I haven't listened to any of the full on things because I'm so behind. I don't like listen to any music before twenty years ago. I don't. I don't right? know. Like it's, it's rare that I find like where something, I hear something new. new. But every once in a while, I'll like stumble upon something, and I meant to investigate further because I heard. It was one of those reaction video things mm-hmm. to that uh, Chappelle Roan. Is it Chappelle? Chappelle Roan. I, Bro- I, I don't almost know. brought up, girl, who did who did who damn Chappelle Roan? Who did Chappelle Roan? <laughs> I have her no in all the memes, and I, I don't know right, who that I is. I have no idea who yes. the fuck it is, but the little clip that I heard, I was like, why is that Tori Amos and Kate Bush, though? Oh, okay. So that's like the vibe. It, that's the vibe. At least that one part like the what she's doing with her voice and whatever okay. so that made me kind of curious so right. i might go check maybe that out we'll if i remember that out. maybe we could tell check you that if out. some 40 something year old nana's like, like the, a chapel row like, am like the chapel row <laughs> am <laughs> chapel run chapel maybe we'll figure out how to pronounce it maybe then. we will maybe she'll say it like hi <laughs> <laughs> hi i'm chapel Roan. chapel Roan. chapel Roan. Oh, my husband said Tears for Fears has new tracks out, which I have not heard yet, but I want to go check out because yeah. I love me some Tears for Fears. That would be that would be good. I don't know if if The Cure ever had that new album that they've been doing. Oh, were they talking about out? a new yeah, one? Yeah, like it's supposed to be. So what I had heard was that that tour, that one that I went to, that big old mm-hmm. long tour, that that was going to be like, we're doing this, we're going to drop the album, and that'll be it right. for us because they're old, y'all. They're old. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They're old. I mean, it was great. It wasn't like, oh, look how sad that is. Right. Robert Smith struggling through the fucking show. No. It wasn't like those <clears throat> clips of Axl Rose singing. No. Oh. Ha! 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 That's better than what I saw. <laughs> that sounded better. I was channeling. No, I mean, like, it wasn't bad. It wasn't, like, bad and sad and, like, whatever. But what I had heard was that that was going to be that. There was going to be an album that they've been talking about forever. And they played a couple new songs at the concert that were really good. So I'm looking forward to it. If that ever happened, I haven't right. heard about it. Yeah, I haven't heard anything either. I haven't heard it. But then again, I don't I don't really keep my finger on the pulse. I mean, no. it's like my favorite band, but even still, you're going to have to like send me a carrier yeah, yeah. pigeon. Send up, up a to flare. Drop it at my send house. up a flare. The Please. Cure. I would imagine the, the Cure the Flare. Spotify would be like, oh, hey, 
There's right? a new you album. Like but this. Here's we this know you new. do because it's on every single one of your day list playlists and fucking everything else. So I, we know you like it. Oh, speaking of new music, though, I did start listening to. I mean, not listening to. I did start the new season of Shorzy, which is out mm. too. And you know, Shorzy and Letterkenny always have the fucking. Bops. The music, yes. And you always find new stuff. So I actually did save two songs. Okay. One of them was by HWLS. Okay. And it's just called 001. Oh. So that's one of those vibe, like it's no lyrics. It's one of them, pop, pop, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like bass those. ones. And then this other one called Loud, and it's the song name is Number 10. And what I think it is is like French Canadian rap. Ooh, I enjoy stuff but like again, that. But again, with that night, with that heavy, that you nice, know how we like that heavy bass. I like it. I like it. I told you the other morning, like all early in the morning, like almost during sunrise, I was on my way to work, and that fucking song from Blade came on the day list. <laughs> yes. And I was like, The day list, day on walker. The day walker, day Pitch. list. And I was like, Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Back. Back. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm like, yes, I'm about to pull into like work's parking lot right now. Like, bam, 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 like I'm Steven Dorf. Bam, 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 And I don't know if that's happening now or what, because they were talking about, what's his name? Madarasha Ali was going to be the new Blade, but now he backed out. and like, Did he? I think he did. That's disappointing. I think he would have been good, but I think Wesley Snipes could still do it. I think he probably could. Good too. He's probably fucking. Well, you know what? No. Ass you still. know what? No. 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 Well, mm, maybe, but I doubt it. Just because, like, vampires don't age at all. Oh, well, at but all. he's a daywalker. He's half human. That's true. So if he just aged a little bit, I mean, I'm sure he could do it. I haven't seen him recently. I haven't either. I haven't, I haven't seen either. him recently. So, oh no. Semi recently, there was that picture of him and Woody Harrelson and oh Rosie. I almost said O'Donnell. Rosie Perez. Perez. It was like a little mini. They were all at White the same event. Can't jump reunion. And it was like they were just all there. It wasn't for that, but just because they were there, they all took a picture together. So I feel like it was semi reason. I mean, like, which could mean a couple years ago. Well, that reminds me of something new. Woody Harrelson and Ted Danson have a podcast now called Where Where Somebody Knows Your Name or Where Everybody Knows Your Name or something. Okay. But it's just, just like a celebrity interview. No. no, it's just a celebrity interview mm. podcast, but they had Jane Fonda. And instead of talking about her work, they really got into her activism and That's that whole thing from Vietnam and yeah. like what she's doing now. And they got Hanoi Jane. Yeah. And they got into like what that whole story what was, was and how she got involved on in all that. And mm. it was kind of inspiring. She's very hmm. like, hmm. I mean, whether or not you believe in what she believes in, the right. fact that she gets out there and gets and, herself arrested and, and does, does all it this anyway. shit. Like, hey, well, good for her. And she's your shit, man. <laughs> She's up there. Yes. <laughs> but oh. she's still out there. Yeah. You better get yeah, her yeah. name out of your fucking I know. Mouth. I better not mention you. I know. told you when I sent you that picture fucking earlier, just because it had been a day already, Dr. Ruth and Richard Simmons back to back. Like oh, and then you the saw my thing, and I saw that star. Robert England's getting a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. And I was like, oh, my God, I thought he fucking died because it was like a picture of a, a, a star. With the sweater and the glove and the hat, and I was like, like "Oh my was god, like no!" A memorial, right? And I was like, "Oh my god, no, not today!" And like, so then I went and looked. I was like, "No, I mean, it should probably be fine because we should probably be fine." He's like, hang old. on until November. But yeah, he's not that old. And Shelley Duvall was seventy five, Richard Simmons was seventy six, and Robert England is seventy seven. So, so please, yeah. shh, shh, please put uh, a protective uh, circle. Uh, uh, I'm a bite uh, 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 protective uh, circle around Robert please. England. Please, he needs a circle of salt. And the last thing I want to mention that happened this week before we get out of here is my husband, oh our, God. our sound engineer, our producer, our music man, our producer, <laughs> he got stranded his plane. He was on his mm -hmm. way home from Ohio. His plane got canceled in Houston. Mm -hmm. And one of our longtime listeners who we've mentioned before, we've read letters from before mm. Spade from Spade Designs, um, who I believe, uh, hand me that shirt. Hand and it has shirt. a... So not only did our listener Spade, who I've only met on the Internet mm -hmm. and don't even have a photograph of. Right. Go pick up my husband, who he's never spoken to nope. even on the Internet from the airport. Mm -hmm. He took him somewhere that has power because yes, Houston because has Houston like had no power, mostly no power. They're still not supposed to have it until like he next was still week. out. of Yeah, he's still at his he house. Still That's why he didn't have take him to his house. He took him right, to like a print shop where he prints shirts because right, it had because air conditioning and power. Yeah. Insane. So he took him and hung out with him all night. He took him 
him to Whataburger. Yes. Fed him a you got to do one of burger. those. You got to do that. He took him to Shipley's Donuts in the morning for a famous ship. I, I've never heard I've of never it. I've never heard of it. But it's a Texas staple. He took him to his hotel. And when that hotel had no power, he took him to his second hotel. <laughs> And on top of that, he made sure I had ordered a shirt from him for my son for his birthday. Mm-hmm. And because of this storm, he got no tracking information. Like, I've got no confirmation it was shipped. Right. And so not only did he print up an extra shirt and send it home with my husband, he printed up shirts for Tessa and I <laughs> of Sigourney Weaver tops. Oh, If you go shit. back and listen to Sigourney our aliens Weaver and our tops. Ghostbusters. Or it was actually the Ghostbusters. It was, that yeah, up. because she was definitely she was topping, topping Lewis. Rick Moranis. <laughs> And he made us Sigourney Weaver tops matching shirts that yep. maybe we'll wear on the live, but we'll definitely take photos mm-hmm. of us in. Mm-hmm. And so you can find him um, on Instagram at Spade Designs underscore or on Twitter at Spade underscore Designs underscore. Mm-hmm. And he does custom shirts. He has he's made so many shirts for like celebrities and he goes right. to the conventions and he, he gives them out and them. gets a photo of the celebrity with his shirt and stuff. Um, but yeah, go check out Spade go Designs. Check him out. He's, he's a, a good hero. dude. He fucking yeah. Her husband's home ass. safe now. He, he made didn't it murder home. him or anything. right. Yeah, no. He came <laughs> home in one piece. No one got kidnapped. Everything was cool and with gifts even and so. with gifts and all of that for a middle aged <laughs> right <laughs> so, old yeah. lady. Thank you, thank you again, Spade. And yes. that is it for this week in Doom. In Doom. Let us know what you guys thought. If you want more of these, you know, we'll see. If you want less of these. Right. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> if it seems like you guys are listening, we'll keep it up. And mm-hmm. if it seems like nobody gives a shit, we'll stop. Yeah, then we'll stop doing we it. We don't waste our time. No. We don't. We do, but not doing things. And our regular closing really works perfectly for this as well. So until next week, we'll talk to you next time. Later, Later, Doomers. Doomers.